coming, Eddie. Hoofing up. Look at that. <whistles> Good morning guys. Uh, we had a frost last night and uh, I don't know if you could tell but pretty well killed everything and uh, I still had a ton, still had a ton of tomatoes on my plants. Lost my zucchini and I had probably four or five little zucchini started. I uh, got up this morning, it was about 32 degrees maybe, something like that. Frost everywhere. Uh, and I'll insert some pictures here that you can see and see how I felt about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess the garden's pretty well done. Um, I got the the corn bed all cleaned up. Um, I got chippies running around all over the place in here. I think they're trying to gather up some yummy goodies. Uh, yeah, so I lost a few uh, peppers, not too many, because I came out and picked a few, and I got a little, a little zucchini. I don't know if it's going to give me anything at all, but uh, I'll bring you around and show you <laughs> watching the little chippy run around out here. He's not afraid of me at all, which I'm surprised. Usually they are. But he's like, he's like right there. <laughs> um, and of course I have my, my turkey squad over here keeping an eye on me. And uh, in case I do a trick or throw him something good to eat. So let me show you what happened to everything up close. Yeah. Well, there's my poor pepper plants. Poor things. All gone. Even the little pepper plant that could. Pretty much gone. So, you know, the only thing that's still living is the weeds. Isn't that funny? Roaches and weeds when the end of the world comes. That's what's going to still be kicking. So yeah, look at this poor little, poor little pepper. There goes my little chippy friend. Oh, I think I missed him. He just ran out. But there's my zucchini and it's still got zucchini on it i should have come out here and covered it that's what i have this makeshift you know wood rail thing um that's what i did in the spring with all my seedlings i put them out here and made like a little greenhouse with my plastic and i should have covered them over but I had my granddaughter and a lot going on and I didn't even, I didn't, they kept, you know, threatening that it was going to happen and every day it was like, nope, we didn't get it. So I kind of was throwing, just kind of blowing it off and I guess I shouldn't have. There's all my, my green tomatoes left. I think I see a few orange ones down in there. I don't know if you can see those, but yeah all oh, my green tomatoes and then way over in the corner are my two potato bags that i haven't harvested yet because they were nice and green and lush looking and uh so i guess i'm gonna dump those out and see if i got any potatoes out of those because i don't think they're gonna do anything else and probably clean up these pepper beds Clean these up. These are the little bit that I got here. I cleaned a few of the peppers out. They're not very big, but whatever. And then this little, I just couldn't bear to let that guy go. 
Let's give me something. And then some tomatoes. I think I'm going to start picking the tomatoes and see if I can put them in the window and then see if they'll, I don't know if they'll get orange or not, but I guess I could do something with green tomatoes. So, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. That's, oops, sorry about that. That's part of the little zucchini tub that I had. Those are gone. That wasn't really producing anything anyway. And then this is what happened to my broccoli. Chickens. Yeah. The door got open and the chickens were just eating it and eating it. So I just pulled it out and let them finish it off. It was still alive. The frost didn't bother it at all, but <sighs> the door swung open. I got to do something different for a latch. Anyway, they were in here devouring that, so I just pulled it out to let them go for it. So it's about uh, 50 degrees out here, I think, maybe 55. The sun's warming it up a little bit. So I just thought I would come out and show you guys the wonderful damage. We'll see if we have any potatoes, hopefully. Hopefully some grew in those bags. They lasted longer than the other ones and I didn't get much out of those. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this one looks a little better. Or these two look a little better. Nice looking potato. All right, I see some a little bit. Guess that's probably it. Well, not bad. I think I only put two in there, so. Well, I already see a couple. This is, this one was compost, I think, just compost, a couple of smallish ones, this one. See any more, do you? There's one. Big clump. You guys want to just get in here, don't you? You guys just want to get in here. And I don't blame you. Well, Definitely consistent with what I've been getting. It's a little pile there. 
But I guess that'll feed us a couple meals, or I can freeze them up. Be good. Look at this. Turkey wants in. Brenda, do you want in? Yep. Oh, here's Eddie over here. You want in, Eddie? You guys want to come play, don't you? Good, good root system on these peppers. Look at that, nice. Must be warming up because I'm heating up. Look at the root system on that. Look at the roots on that pepper. Just crazy root system. Nuts. Nuts good, but. Crazy. It's all roots. Yeah, take those weeds with you. Ooh. Little pepper plants that could gave me two nice size, no, three, three nice size peppers. One of them was chewed on the bottom, but. The other two were good. Nice dirt. I like this bed for peppers. I've used this one last year and we got a lot of good peppers out of it. It's good and deep. And um, I did like a hugel culture in the bottom of this. So there's sticks and leaves. And this is my oldest bed. Um, I don't know, sticks and leaves and branches. And of course, then dirt on top. Anything that would compost down. I might have even put cardboard in here um and i put the dirt whatever i had compost and then of course over there it looks like i have potting soil um yeah this was my first bed so i got quite a bit quite a bit of pep peppers out of it and they seem to really like this bed So I thought I'd do it again this year. But I'm sure after what this is the second year, so I'm sure all that stuff that's down in there is breaking down. I also put, once I had it all done, I also put 
cornmeal on top and added um, worms and then put a layer of leaves on it and left it over the winter so they'd have something to eat. So I was throwing compost and stuff in there along with the cornmeal and that was keeping them happy dappy in there, I hope. I've seen some, not today, but I haven't really been looking for them. But I'm assuming they're in there by the looks of how good this dirt looks and how good everything is growing. But yeah. This one worked out pretty good. Found some orange ones in here. These may, these may make it. Yeah. Big ones, they're big. And I feel so bad about losing them all. Look this bunch. It's crazy. Well, we'll try it. See if we can save a few. Maybe do something with green tomatoes. I've never tried it, but they feel a little hard. They don't feel like as squishy as, um, you know, the regular ones. The, the, let's see. They feel hard, but these are very squishy. This is really tough. So I don't know if that'll do anything or not. But Hey, we got quite a few and I got some really good marinara. We had a birthday dinner for my daughter the other day and everybody, I got some garlic knots and everybody tried them and they were really good with the marinara that I made. I really like it. The salsa they liked, but they said it was too, too mild. It didn't have enough kick to it, which I knew that. But I added it to some spaghetti sauce when we had some spaghetti the other day. Well, I don't know. It was last, last week sometime. And it was pretty good uh, with that in there. So it added a little extra. And I, like, I kind of like chunky sauce. So it wasn't too bad. So I don't know if you can see or not, but I got this all weeded out. Of course, I have some piles over here of the dead stuff. Um, and on the other side of the fence where all my sunflowers and gladiolas were, my glads are here. I pulled them out of the ground, drying them up a little bit, and then I'm going to take my bulbs and put them inside. But that's all pretty well gone. There's one little glad over there that's trying to open. So I'm going to let that try and do that. I may pick it and bring it inside so I can enjoy it. Uh, I took my other cucumber down. There goes the chippy again. <laughs> He's just running all over the place. Um, so yeah, things are pretty well gone here, unfortunately. But it's all part of gardening. And in Maine especially, or in the cold weather uh, regions, uh, our growing season is so small. I'm hoping to take one of the metal frames that we have that used to be for a cover it and making that into a greenhouse. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Um, I know wood prices have gone crazy, so I'm not sure 
you know, I'm not sure. We're not going to need much, but I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But I'm hoping we can do something with that um, so that next spring when I get my seedlings going in the house and they get ready to come out and it's warm enough, they can, they can be in that greenhouse. And I'm going to try and work on that this fall if prices aren't too crazy. Um, most of it salvaged. I got a, a window from the dump, brand new casement window, um, really nice. So I think uh, Scott and I can get something framed out so we can put that in on one end. Um, we may have to build a door for the other side, but I did already get the plastic back last spring because I wanted to do something then. Didn't happen, got too busy. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I got. We want to get some of the polycarbonate roofing, which it's not going to take much. It's not very big. I can take you over and show you what that framework looks like and what I'm thinking about doing and explain it a little better so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the framework I'm talking about. I think that's five feet wide. It's just this one here, the taller part. It's separate from that one over there. But there's my little junk junk corner where I keep my fencing and my, my poles that I get. And I put them over here. But so it's only five feet wide. And then I think it's 10 feet to the front or the back, whichever one you want to look at. So what I want to do is put, you know, a window like right there in the back. And then the other side looks the same, but I'm going to put a door of some sort so I can get some cross ventilation and then see the roof isn't very wide and I'm not sure how wide the um, polycarbonate is I think it's four feet maybe so I only might need a couple on each side so about four on each uh, you know on each side on this side and then or two, I should say. Boy, I can't explain this very good. Two on each side, so probably four pieces, but I'm not sure I would have to look it up. Um, and it also depends on how long they are, because if they're pretty long, you can cut them in half and use, you know, half on each side, maybe only use two for the roof. Like I said, I have, um, I'd like to do the pl heavy plastic sheeting, you know, around the top, and then on the bottom, I don't know, I have this I also got at the dump. This is metal, I don't know. If it's metal roofing or if it's metal siding, I'm not sure, but I think we can use it as siding down around the bottom, so, so high up to make it look nice. And that would make a nice little, little greenhouse just to put my seedlings in until they're ready to go out in the garden. Just start some stuff and I think it would be nice just to start with. I don't need anything too big because our garden isn't all that big, but I also want to extend the garden out a little bit. I want to pull that, pull that fencing out. So I don't know, another six or seven feet, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But then, and then put this around the side of it or something. But that's kind of my vision, and Scott's been thinking about it and trying to figure out the best way um, to do it. And I'm hoping with the arch of it that it won't be too, um, you know, it won't hold the snow and it will slide off. But I usually come out and clean it off of the cover it's anyway for the run for the chickens, so it should be okay. But that's kind of my vision. We'll see if it comes true this year I may have to wait till next spring it all depends little sneak peek of the wood pile the knot wood pile it's about done the split stuff or stuff that's ready to be split is almost done so we're about there woohoo can't wait 
and it's so cold we have a little bit of a fire going inside because I think it was 60 in the house that's just too cold for me um, it's hard for me to get going when it's that cold but and it's nice to go from being cold outside to warm in so anyway uh, I'm gonna end this here so I'm sure I'm in the same boat with everybody else as far as frost and gardens going bye-bye it's all part of it welcome to fall I'm supposed to be getting my garlic pretty soon so I'll be putting that in the ground the bed is ready for them I'm ready for when they come should be any time now sometime this week and hopefully one of the next videos you see is me putting some garlic in and getting ready so next spring hopefully we will have some garlic to pick but on that note I'm gonna let you guys go thanks for stopping by and hope you come by again see you later you gonna fan out Eddie Pretty boy. Oh, Eddie. Oh, Eddie. He's got a crush on you. Well, maybe he doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs>